Okay, thanks for those calls from Cheltenham Martin. We're moving on to Fontwell with a Tikram handicap, a two mile two furlong look to 120. So number one is Cop Out, two Minton Bay, three Blind James, four Zalano Beat, Miss Larwood Arctic is fine, five Fight the Power is six, Moon Fairy seven, Frantic S. Gimo 8, Meadow Court 9, Trojan General 10, Greatly Appreciated 11, 12 is Spring Correction, 12 Paces is 13, Pearl Necklace is 14, The Fat Chef is 15, 16 is First Pitch, Venison is 17, Aquaplane is 18, and Heavenly Swift is number 19, so 19 of them to belt round Fontwell here and they're away. And they're straight into the first hurdle, which everybody's negotiated, and they're all happily over. So, up front, it's Frantic Eskimo and Pearl Necklace. And we know Pearl Necklace likes to go off a little bit premature. So, they go over the second. Everybody's over that one as well. So, it's Frantic Eskimo and Pearl Necklace. And first pitch, it's these three that lead, just by length from Zolano Built and Aquaplane. And they're already a couple of lengths ahead of Spring Collection, Minton Bay, 12 paces. Um, and then out wide, we've got the Graham Clutterbuck horse, which is Cop Out. And against the fence and light blue spil silks is Trojan General. And then we've got Fight the Power on the outside of that and Meadow Court being followed through by Blind James in the pink. Venison Heavenly Swift and the Fat Chef and greatly appreciated at the rear. So as they approach the third, it's going to be Frantic Eskimo that's going to take them into this. Everybody's over it. And, uh, he's being followed by Zolano Beat, Pearl Necklace and First Pitch. And we've got 12 paces, spring collection, then to the fourth. And everybody skips over that one as well. I don't think these particular are, uh, are difficult here at Fontwell. But it's still frantic Eskimo. Still leads us by a couple of lengths to Pearl Necklace. And then we've got uh, Zalano beaten first pitch. They're Indian far one, two, three, four. And they're being followed through by Minton Bay and spring collection. So Kevin Minahan, Horse and Jim Murray. And then we've got Aquaplane, 12 paces, cop out, out wide still. And the light blue silks of Trojan General just at the back of that pack. They've been followed through by Miss Larwood Arctic. And another Kevin Meenan horse, the Meadow Court. And the Fat Chef's made up a little bit of ground. They go over the six. One at the front that they didn't take it particularly well, I think, was first pitch. But it's still Frantic Eskimo, Zolano Beat, Pearl Necklace and first patch. There's a couple of lengths between this leading four. A good couple of lengths ahead of the chasing pack of Minton Bay leading them at the moment. So we're through uh, a mile here. We've got a mile left to run. And it's still frantic Eskimo. It's going to lead them past the winning post with a circuit to go. And another five fences, or well, fences, hurdles to uh, skip over. So just at the rear, Venison greatly appreciating them. Blind James look pretty detached now. But up front is still frantic Eskimo from Zolano Beat, Pearl Necklace. But first pitch, Spring Collection and Trojan General getting closer now is his Minton Bay. But Frantic Eskimo still lead by a couple to Pearl Necklace in second. Zolano beat third, Spring Collection four. They all skip over the eighth. And they head down. We're inside the five furlongs now. So it's still Frantic Eskimo from Pearl Necklace, Spring Collection and Zolano beat. Those four have been up front since the beginning. The one that's moved out on the outside is Minton Bay for Jim Murray, looking ominous. But still, Frantic Eskimo still leading them, being pushed along, takes them into the tenth. We've only got a couple of hurdles to go and four furlongs to travel. Everybody else is over it, but it's still Frantic Eskimo. Leads by a couple now to Minton Bay, Pearl Necklace, Moon Ferry on the outside, trying to make up some ground. Trojan General still plugging on. The one that's dropping back is Zolano beat now. But it's still Frantic Eskimo leads by about five lengths as they take this final left turn with two and a half furlongs left to run. It's Frantic Eskimo by five to six to Moon Ferry, Spring Collection, Minton Bay, Pearl Necklace, Trojan General. These are all trying to make up the ground, but Frantic Eskimo takes the penultimate, gets over it well. Still leads by five with a furlong and a half left to run. It's Frantic Eskimo, Spring Collection, and Minton Bay trying to close the gap. On the outside is Trojan General, but it's Frantic Eskimo who's going to lead them into the last. A furlong left to run, he gets over it, but here comes Minton Bay on the outside. Frantic to Eskimo and Minton Bay. Further out is Trojan General. It's between these three. Half a furlong. Minton Bay. Trojan General. The one that's going back was Frantic Eskimo, but Minton Bay's just going to hang on to this. Minton Bay from Trojan General. Frantic Eskimo, the long-time leader for David Robertson. Bad luck there. Just getting caught. Last half a furlong. And that's a win for our Jim Murray. Stacking them up this week. As he did last week, and certainly going to be challenging for the National Hunt Championship title, I think, this year. So Minton Bay wins it for Jim Murray. Second was Trojan General for 
Daniel French. Third was Frantic Eskimo for David Robertson. Fourth was Paul ne Pearl Necklace for Obi Wan. And fifth was Spring Collection for Kevin Meenahan. Also got the sixth there, Kevin, with Meadow Court. So let's move on to the next here at uh, Fontwell. 